Do you know why the Rhea bird never makes it to the office on time? Because it always takes the ostrich route. Welcome friends to the wonderfully weird world of metamorphosis, and today we embark on an incredible journey. Transforming into a Rhea. Yes, you heard it right, a Rhea. It's not your typical how-to guide, it's a lot more feathery and a bit more avian. Step one in your Rhea transformation requires you to cultivate a taste for the simple things in life. Rias are not fussy eaters. They munch on plants, fruits, seeds, and the occasional insect or small rodent. So start training your palate. Maybe swap that steak for a salad or that soda for a fruit smoothie. And don't forget those mealworms you've been avoiding. Step two, embrace your inner flightless bird. You know how sometimes life throws you lemons and you can't fly away from them? Well, Rias can't fly away either, but they sure can run. Rias are superb runners, reaching speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. So it's time to lace up those running shoes and hit the track. Can't fly away from your problems? No problem, just outrun them. Step 3. Become a master of the art of disguise. Rias have a knack for vanishing into the tall grass when danger looms. They're like the Houdinis of the bird world, minus the straitjackets and chains. So next time someone mentions doing the dishes or taking out the trash, poof, you've mastered the art of the disappearing act. Step 4. Hone your parenting skills. Male Rias are model dads. They incubate the eggs, raise the chicks, and do all the heavy parenting. So guys, it's time to step up your game. Start reading those parenting books, practice your diaper changing skills, and maybe learn a lullaby or two. And finally, the last step in our Rhea transformation journey, learn to appreciate your own company. Rias are often solitary creatures enjoying their own company, and they're quite content with it. So whether it's enjoying a quiet evening with a book or taking a solo trip to the beach, it's time to embrace the solitude. And there you have it, folks. Five easy, digestible steps to becoming a Rhea. Remember, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey and the feathers. Don't forget about the feathers. Before you go off to practice your Rhea skills, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got more wild and wacky transformation journeys coming your way. Until next time, keep it feathery, folks.